Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. In this video, we're going to talk about the law of assumption. And Neville Goddard teaches that in the law of assumption, whatever we are assuming to be true for our day, for our life, for our relationships is going to become our reality. So whatever you focus on, whatever you're assuming, oh, I assume that you know, this game is going to go a certain way, or I assume that the way I write this paper, I'm going to get this result. If you are assuming a negative result, that's what you're most likely going to get. And a lot of times we get put in these situations where negative things do happen so that we can learn to fix it, to say, oh my gosh, I was thinking that and I created that. And a lot of people get caught going down the rabbit hole of, bad things always happen to me. And I always know that they're coming before they happen. <laughs> and I'm over here like, yeah, you're creating it. <laughs> they think they're psychic. We all are psychic, but they think they're um, somehow empowered by knowing when something bad's going to happen, but they're actually creating the one thing that they don't want to happen. They're making it happen and they're proving their, their intuition correct. So why not use that tool, the law of assumption to assume a positive, wonderful, beautiful thing like a miracle or like money or loving relationships and focus on that thought. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to start off each day assuming how you want your day to look. And when you practice this every single day, your life then becomes this domino effect of good things. So we woke up this morning, I took out my journal and I said, what do I want to co-create today? Michelle, what do you want to happen? And imagine that, imagine if every single day you were guaranteed to get what you wrote on that paper. I bet you everybody would be journaling every single morning being like, all right, this is the way life works. We wake up, we ask for what we want, and then we see it a few hours later. We just don't know when it's going to come, but we can ask for it. And in the past week or so, I've been daydreaming and imagining things and they've all come true. You know, bumping into certain people or receiving extra money in some way or getting another opportunity to make money. It's all coming in so quickly. So it might not come in as quickly as you'd like, or maybe it comes in faster and you weren't prepared for it. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. But you're going to start to notice that the days that you don't do this, it's like kind of like a shit show. The universe just kind of brings you whatever because you're whatever. You're not intentional. You're not saying, I want to create this today or I want more of this or you're not saying, I don't want this because the universe doesn't recognize the word don't, okay? So only ask for what you do want. Do not, I always say, whatever we're thinking about, we're pressing a button. We're pressing a button on and telling the universe, hey, I want more of this in this now moment, whatever I'm thinking of, I'm pressing a button and the universe is jumping ahead in the next hour or two. And it's gathering the tools to give you that. So if you're thinking about a car accident, if you're thinking about an illness, if you're thinking about something negative in this now moment, you are pressing a button and telling the universe, Hey, give me more of this. So using the law of assumption, you are assuming that something amazing is gonna to happen today, next week, next month, and you're, you're literally pressing a button on that thought. So keep pressing those buttons with positive thoughts. And if you need help, you know, start to watch more videos where they give you ideas of what to ask for. Like if you're kind of like, I don't even know what I want each day when I wake up because we're so conditioned to sit back and just get whatever we get. It's hard to come out of that shell and learn that we are co-creators. You know, really think about it. If you had millions of dollars in the bank right now, what would you wake up and do tomorrow? At some point, you'd get tired of resting and you get tired of, um, you know, only serving yourself. You'd want to be of service to the planet, to people. You'd want to offer something, whether it's art or a literal service, you helping somebody build something, create something. So start thinking outside the box. What do I really want to do if I had all the money in the world? and write that down. Dream big. Whatever you put on this paper is possible. I've manifested $25,000 in the form of a check, not cash, literally in a check form. I've manifested $30,000 through teaching. And when I was a teacher in, the, in a high school, I taught for 17 years and I just 
wanted to be done with it. I wanted to get out there and I wanted to still, you know, inspire kids, but I didn't want to have to be in a building and deal with the schedule and having to have lunch duty and all those little minor details. I wanted to teach bigger. I wanted to reach more kids. And I asked for 50,000 or I asked for $30,000, but I ended up getting $50,000. So I got an opportunity to create a virtual mindfulness program where I just filmed myself teaching on camera for 30 minutes, 30 different videos. And that program is still being sold to this day, two years later. And the profits are probably over $120,000 now. I made two programs, an elementary and a high school one. The elementary with the program that I'm selling it with, they reach more of elementary schools. But I just know, I am assuming that this high school program that I created that hasn't really sold too much, I am affirming that this year, it's going to sell 2,000 copies right off the bat. And I know it to be true. So every morning I am writing down saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe my program is in 2000 schools now. My high school program and my elementary program is still selling like hotcakes. I am assuming that to be true because I don't wanna believe that I did all that work for that high school program and the kids aren't receiving it. You know, I want kids of all ages to receive that. So 2000 copies sold and it's going to keep growing. It's not going to stop there. So what do you want to call into your life? What kind of passive income like I have, do you want? What can you create one time and have it just keep paying you over and over and over again? And it helps our planet in some way. So start thinking outside of the box. And if you can't think of a way to do that, you can also ask for money out of thin air. You can ask for opportunities out of thin air. It doesn't always have to be, I have to work hard to receive money. And for me, I only had to create that program once and it only took a couple of weeks. The first program that I created took a couple of weeks and I'm getting over $125,000 and it keeps growing only for a couple of weeks work. So think about that. Where in your life can you do minimal work and make the maximum amount of money and to have it continue growing. All right, so don't forget this, all right? Use the law of assumption, sit down every single morning and intend, create, push a button on what you want and stop thinking about your current reality. If it's not good, no more thoughts about it. You are only thinking of what you wanna create each day and then watch it pour in in really awesome ways. All right, lovies, if you need help, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, hit the bell so you get notified when these new videos come out. I'm sending you so much love. Let's go co-create the heck out of our lives. All right, peace out.